Really healthy guys though. Look at them. They are like small, little adorable ones. See, I don't know whether you can get him out or not, but I try to flush him out a bit. Just look at the colors of these guys. Um, it's really middle of the night again. I notice that every time I come to Supreme College, right, it's always late night. Um, yeah, so have you guys have seen the previous video that we have done up with 36 Haiyang on the shipment night where we crash into their shipment, right? So that video was actually a pretty success. Uh, most of you guys really like such unboxing videos to see shipments late at night, right? So um, yeah, so we show you guys the Maldives shipment, couple of very nice Maldives fish. So Supreme Coral, which is also part of um, the whole franchise, Invited me down again this time around to their store here in Jurong East, which is um, Supreme Coral itself, to do another shipment with them late in the middle of the night to show you guys what they have this time around. So, today's shipment is pretty dear to my heart though. This is a very interesting shipment and something that I really like a lot. And it's also the first time we are seeing these guys in Singapore. Not a very rare fish, I would say. These guys are pretty common, but due to the, the ban previously, right? We do see a huge scars in them and then the price actually went up. Yes, when I say all this, right, you guys already know what, I, what I'm talking about, which is the yellow tank. So they're going to bring in yellow tanks tonight. Not just normal yellow tanks, though. These guys are captive bred yellow tanks. Um, these guys are from Biota. Biota is a very famous breeders in the world. These guys, I've done a lot of different types of breeding. I've followed Biota for many, many, many years throughout my whole career already. Um, Tom Bowling is a very amazing guy. He has done a lot of talks, a lot of shows in Magna, so forth and so on. A lot of different things. Um, they do famous like for clams and then all the way to the Bourbonias and just one of the most amazing captive bred Bourbonias and just that they can, you can find. So there's a lot of captive bred stuff they have done and they recently also worked with the Hawaii Institute, the first guys who actually breed um, captive bred yellow tanks to come together and to do the captive bred yellow tank breeding. So this is the first time we're actually getting them in Singapore, so I'm very, very excited to see them in first hand. I've seen before the captive bred purple tank by Bali Akorich. I've never seen before the captive bred yellow tank yet in Singapore. So this is actually the first time I'm actually seeing them. So this is why when they invited me to come down to do the shoot with them tonight, right, I jumped out straight from the house. I left like, I think I left house about 9 plus, I came straight down to do the shipment with them. So it's pretty exciting. We are still waiting for the shipment to arrive. And then, yeah, I would love to show you guys through on how are they looking. Um, but with Captive Bread, we are hoping that these guys are, they will get very easily used to captive aquarium life. For example, like feeding and acclimatizing, this should be easier. Hopefully we can get a first hand look at the Captive Bread yellow tanks and then you guys can get one at your home real soon. So I'll just end off the intro here. You'll head back in. I wait for the shipment to arrive and then after I'll show you the shipment from then on. So let's head in right now. A few moments later. Okay, so we are done with all the acclimation right now. So we actually opened a whole box of the yellow tanks. So actually there's really a lot of yellow tanks though. You can come and see, right? And the good thing about them, right, is they're really, really healthy. And this is the first time I'm actually seeing captive bred yellow tanks um, from Biota. Size-wise, really good. Um, just grab a sample for you guys to see. Really healthy guys though. Look at them. They are like small, little adorable ones. Really healthy. The whole school of them is just pretty amazing though. So they're doing the acclimation right now. Once they finish the acclimation, they'll go there and then yeah, they should be ready for sale already. But the size of it is really adorable. Colors wise, still a bit transparent here and there. They will definitely color up once they get better. But yeah, once they are done with the acclimation, once they go in, they usually start feeding within the day or so. So probably get them to video another day on their feelings, behavior and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure that these guys here will definitely um, start to feed within the one or the next two days. Aside from the yellow tanks, right, they actually came in one really, really um, rare fish. This is the Grama de Jonggi. It's like, this is the, the holy, holy grills of all the different Grama. So you've seen before your Royal Grammas, your the Black Cat Bastards, right? These guys are from Cuba. They are one of the rarest and the rarest um, Grammas that you guys can get. And being captive bred, right, they are pretty amazing. Um, it's pretty shiny though. You can see, I don't know whether you can get him out or not, but I try to flush him out a bit. <laughs> Let's see if whether it comes out for me. Yeah, usually you just need to pull up the back a bit more. Usually they'll just pop right out. Yeah, so you see, just look at the colors of these guys. The really nice 
golden colors of it. And then the interesting thing about them, right, they have this really nice small purple fins right below there, that little ventral fins is like purplish. And if I'm not wrong, that um, Biota actually have the white variant as well. Um, it's the same species, it's also a Dijongi, but just that it's like the hybrid variant where the top part here is actually comes full white. Never listen in person too, so probably we can get that for another shipment. Okay, so we are back here at the other store. So as you guys can see, the yellow tanks are in the stores already. Look at them though, like they just arrived from a two days freight shipment, which is like freaking crazy. And just look at how stable these guys are. Like, like this is right after the shipment. Like this is after acclimation and they start packing for I believe if I, if I throw pellets in right now, right, these guys will start taking. Okay, so you guys have seen earlier, right, um, the Holy Grails of the Holy Grails, the Grama de Jongi. So there's one here. This is like the really nice adult large one. Really good. Look at it as like after acclimation, right, it's active, it's healthy. I do believe if I throw some food in, this guy will start to eat already. Yeah, you can see that, that very nice orangey patterns on it, right? And you see that the small purplish ventral fins below. This is one of a really nice fish. And Captain Brett, these guys are really amazing though. There's a couple of them here, there's one more here, and then there's a smaller one on this side that I can show you. Still pretty shy, but very good quality fish. They all look very healthy, very alert, and they don't look like there's much of an issue with them. Um, really good fish though. Uh, this is one fish to really go after for if you really want the more expensive, but more higher end grammars, right? This is one to go for. I think this is like what one day plus after we got the captive bread yellow tank from Biola. Um, it's right in here right now um, in the Zoa dominated tank. Um, this tank has only been here with no other fish. Okay, like there's two other fish inside here, which is the, the pair of Mandarin gobies. I've specifically made this tank empty because I always I've been standing by for this captive bread yellow tank for some time so that I can actually do the whole documentation for you guys. So it's actually right behind me right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change, I'm gonna flip the camera over and then I'm gonna show you guys from then on um, how the captive bread yellow tank is looking. So here we have the captive bread yellow tank from Biota. Um I've got a really nice size one, I hope I believe so. Uh, there's among the shipment there's like a lot of smaller ones slightly larger ones um yeah i actually got one which is the one that i really like a lot which is this little guy over here still a bit shy in this tank though it arrived in the co uh, so this is not the coffee tank this is the um zoa dominated tank it arrived i think last night about 2 to 3 a.m and then this morning i actually check it out it's doing really well this morning um I give it a shot in feeding it, um, like the powder recommended to actually give it pellets or even um, the hickory frozen food. So I actually do a blend of the hickory brine shrimp and the mysis. Um, it went immediately though, it went straight for the food. So eating wise, it's pretty active. And aside from that, I do give him pellets as well. Um, yeah, so what do I give for pellets? Right? I do give the TDO Chroma Boost. Um, this is the small size one. I they do have an XS as well, but then to me, I find that the small size one is pretty um, sufficient for most of the smaller fishes. I only do feed TDS for all my tanks here. Um, I do love TDS, sorry TDO pellets um, from Reef Nutrition. Yeah, this is a really good brand though. If there's one thing that I recommend so far, all of my fishes here, all of my tanks here um, are feeding on TDO. So I did drop a few TDO in as well, and the yellow tank here actually went straight for it so kind of amazing though like how well it actually um, acclimatized to the environment because due to because it's kept in bread right um, it's been in under human care for its whole life so shouldn't be an issue with it um, it's doing really well so i'm just going to give you guys a progress update on how it looks like um, condition wise why should you guys go for captive bread? Couple of reasons. Firstly, because these guys are, they're usually free from all the pathogens or the white spots and stuff because these guys are bred in house. So there isn't really much a chance where you get a lot of um, parasitic stuff that will go onto them. That's first thing. Secondly, because they have been raised since young, they have been born and raised in captivity. These guys, are, they acclimate pretty well to um, home aquariums. So chance of survival is pretty much a lot higher and they readily eat um, compared to wild animals, right? These guys here take every single thing. So like the yellow tank that arrived last night, right? These guys took um, the hickory brine shrimp, the mysis shrimp, 
uh, the TDO palettes that I am giving here. TDO, if you want to sponsor me, right, please do. You have my Instagram page. Please do look for me. Yeah, so aside from that, yeah, palettes, frozen food, everything it takes. So I'm very amazed by how the yellow tank will be. I will give you guys an update a bit more a um, couple of weeks later how the yellow tank is doing. Uh, what can we see? Is there any difference between the captive bread, the wild bread, and also probably I will do a comparison between the um, the yellow tank as well as the yellow scopas in here. Yes, remember I have a yellow scopas right somewhere in here right now. So, yeah, so I think that's the update that I'm going to give you guys for the time being. Okay, so I believe um, this is the end for this week's video. Uh, really big thanks to everybody for inviting us down uh, to do the shoot. Um, the unboxing part, um, big thanks to Supreme Corals for actually giving me a call to call me to come down middle of the night just to do the unboxing with them on the Captain Red Yellow Tanks um, to be able to see them in her square. I've never seen this many Yellow Tanks. Okay, I do see this many Yellow Tanks before but I've never actually seen so many Captive Red Yellow Tanks all in one bucket. There's like hundreds of them when they first arrive all in one pail that you guys see here. So it's pretty insane though to actually see that, um, to see the um, first time ever, the captive bred royal, um, the, sorry not the royal but the grabba the jonggi um, One fish that is really dear to my heart too, which is the, the jonggi Always been a big fan for them, I've had the pure ones before, the hybrids one before um, First time seeing the captive bred one really just amazed me um, The red eye fowl fish as well, there's a lot of things that Bauta actually does If you guys don't really know Bauta well, I've been um, following them for many many years already and they have done a lot of different things also though. Their bobonis and this is like one of the best. Uh, there's like clams, there's corals and that. So we really hope to see a lot more of stuff coming up from Biota, especially with them opening up right now, right? There's going to be a lot more things that you guys can see in the near future. So I'm just going to end this video. It's a pretty long one. Um, for those of you guys in Singapore out there, um, we haven't really get your yellow tank, right? Don't wait. This is a good time to go out, grab one because these guys are really bulletproof. They are hardy. Um, they readily eat, you know, everything is just well. And yeah, and no, don't, don't bother waiting for the wild ones anymore because now it's not the time to really go out and catch a light. For the channel itself, right, we always promote sustainability and captive breeding. So um, that's why we're always very into captive breeding and aquaculture of most of the stuff. So if you guys watch the video for this week, right, and contemplating whether to get a yellow tech or not, um, go out there. Grab one right now. There's quite a lot of them for most of you guys. So. Same thing if you guys like all the videos I put out for you guys, right? Big thanks to Supreme Corals, um, Biota for all the tips and everything out there. Um, yeah, so same thing, like, subscribe the channel. Definitely, we are hitting 2K, 50 more subscribers and we are 2K already. So please, please, please do subscribe down before. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon next week.